But because their interest is about winning votes, their interest is about perpetrating 419 on innocent Guineans, deceiving the people of this country, they did this shoddy work here, wasted the taxpayers' money on nothing. 256,000 of our taxes here, including taxes that you journalists pay every month, has been wasted on what you see here. And people think that they can walk free after this. And so that is why we are saying that it would have been more prudent and the judicious use of the taxpayers' money if government had channeled these resources into proper small-scale irrigation dams like what President Mahama did in areas like Mion constituency, which we'll be visiting, and what JICA is doing in some parts of the country. It is our contention that the One Village, One Dam program like similar tokenism being championed by the Sakufuado government constitutes a huge financial loss to the state. And since this government is determined to stay the course of wasting our scarce resources on such counterproductive measures, which in most cases only facilitate the plundering of our resources into private pockets, we wish to reiterate the point that a future government of the NDC shall investigate and prosecute all persons associated with such deceptive schemes, including this 1v1 scam. To this end, we wish to sound a strong caution to the likes of Madame Hawa Kumsen, the Minister for Special Development Initiatives, and others like her, that they stand quote me anywhere, as good candidates for prosecution for the offense of willfully causing financial loss to the state when power changes hands.